So what are local admin rights for computers and do I want my end users to have them? So every time you log onto your computer, you're doing so with your user account. That's not just your name and password. It's all of the settings specific to that account. Some of it's about how programs should behave. Some of it's about security. And one of the most important settings about your user account is whether you have local admin rights. Now, if your account has these rights, you can essentially do anything to your computer. Install and uninstall programs, install other components, change anything, add other users. Oh, and you can delete other users as well. Fun at parties. Change passwords, patch and update pretty much any part of the system. Heck, you can nuke the entire system. Local admin rights rule. Well, but here's the problem. All right, actually there's two problems. First is the whoops factor. That basically, you can easily change or remove parts of the system that you didn't really mean to. Delete Office. <laughs> Don't say you haven't ever considered it. Remove all your documents. Install a new program that completely mucks up your system. We're talking about accidents. The second is more nefarious. Apparently, Drew has a thing about that word. The bad guys love to present their products, their tools, as things that you should install or run. Uh, let's say it's a screen saying, you've been infected. Click here to remove the malware. Click it and, oh, you just install the malware yourself. Good times. If you didn't have local admin rights, odds are the malware wouldn't be able to do a thing. This isn't always true. Now, most organizations have taken the logical step of removing the local admin rights from their end users. And this can be annoying. Every time an end user legitimately wants something installed or even updated, they have to contact IT, whether it be internal employees or a managed service provider like Simplex IT, and wait for them to take action. Now, this absolutely impacts productivity, but not as much as end users accidentally infecting their systems with malware. And we're finding and creating more and more ways to either automatically push out software, including patching and updating to our client workstations to preemptively handle these updates and ways to automatically install common software so the solution is actually a lot faster than it used to be and to do these things with little or no impact to the end user. Now, there are some people who take losing their local admin rights personally as if it demonstrates a lack of trust but many cyber insurance providers are actually requiring their customers to remove local admin rights for their end users for good reason.